You're gonna leave me naked, girlfriend. You're gonna go to your new house with your new people. Yes, I know. They're gonna love you. Say hi to the people. Where's your mom? Where is she? Say mommy. Marshmallow. You're gonna leave me naked, girlfriend. She started like wanting attention recently. She was the most skittish, crazy goat in the entire world. And then one day I walked in to feed dinner and she was waiting at the door like this. <laughs> and I'm like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, huh? What is wrong with you, Marshmallow? Marshmallow is going to leave with her sister who, I don't know where she is, but I will look for her. Her sister's name is Lava Cake. And they're gonna go and be 4-H goats, which is gonna be really exciting. Because now I can kind of keep track of them. And let's see, where's Lava Cake? Oh, there she is. That's Lava Cake. That is Annabelle's other little girl. And so, Marshmallow, you are so crazy since birth. You are. Hi, Gaia. And I don't know if I said it, but Marshmallow and her sister are leaving on Sunday. So, little by little, they're all going to be leaving. I don't know if they're all going to go together. There's this one lady who has 20 acres and wanted three. Then she wanted five. <laughs> so we're, we're seeing if um, I need to check with her just to make sure that she still wants the three or if she wants the five. And so I'm going to have all the rest of the boys ready to go. I... After the boys are gone, the only ones that will be available soon are little Athene's boys. So this one right here, who is so curious and so, so cute. And then the silver boy over there will also be available. But still, I mean, they're just going to be two weeks old this Sunday. So the rest of the boys, you know, the older boys are going to be going home soon. I'm really excited for them to go to a new home, but it's also very, very sad um, to me anyways. And then I have this little one who I swear that Mocha likes to give me the boys with the most problems. If you remember, he got his front leg stuck on something. And he's been trying to recover. He also has a little bit of anemia, so I'm giving him red cell. So he, I just hope that I don't get to keep another boy that I don't need in my life. But um, I just want him to be 100% better before he leaves. <sighs> Captain America, you are something else. You know that. Hi, little man. He's still a little shy, but he is so curious, aren't you? Aren't you, little man? He loves kisses. Clara, please go chew the cat somewhere else. I mean, girlfriend. It stinks. You got this cute little one. You're so sweet. Oh, I love you too, baby. Mm. The easy pick shavings have been working really good. I've checked these babies almost every day since they were born. There's no lice. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> he thinks I have something for him. No, I don't have teeth in my throat, but I wish I did because everyone looks for them there. Although it would look very weird if I had teeth in my throat. <laughs> Did 
That is not your dad, trust me. Oh. You're so cute. Oh my goodness, you are cute. Say hi to the people. You look like you're upset or something. Are you upset? What is happening? They barely started to put some horn buds, so they're gonna be disbudded tonight, unfortunately. Love my hair. It's very sweet of you. I think you're very handsome too. <laughs> Captain America, could you just quit it? Quit it, sir. You came to say hello. I'm glad. You want to be a social butterfly? Thank you. Like you, mama? Mm. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't want to go to my meeting. I want to kiss baby goats. That's all I want to do. I want to kiss baby goats. Mmm. I want to be kissed by baby goats too. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I love you. You go spend time with your mommy, okay? Here comes Clara. Hi, Clara. Captain, you need to a good bath, sir. <laughs> Where's your mom? Where is she? Say, mommy. No, that's not your mom. Definitely not your mom's. They're gonna beat you up, sir. I mean, just saying. Oh, sorry. You're very, very handsome. Very handsome, and you're losing your balls. I'm sorry. Look at Everest. Hi, Evie. Hello, Evie. So, like, let me show you how good I am at this. Let me show you. I'm so very excited. You want to take her to the show and she's for sure going it's funny how I cannot make up my mind with the adults or even the kids I'm sorry you can't come it's not for boys you're gonna go to your new house with your new people yes I know they're gonna love you because you're very handsome very handsome but I think I did such a great job raising these two. I love that she's super smart. She's also a troublemaker, which comes with the smartness. And I cannot wait to see if she's the improvement that I'm looking for uh, by combining this girl and Dom, um, which I hope I hope that Dom passed on his udders or the udders behind him 
into this little girl. I cannot wait. In the meantime, Annabelle and Moga, as always, are always having some kind of problem. Look at Clarita. I think she's gonna be short like her mom. So she is the shortest of all the kids. She's not the lightest in weight or smallest in size, but she really is shortest, which is, which is super cute, but not what I was looking for. We'll see as she develops. Um, I just think that, you know, my shortest girl is Clara, and it's hard to put a bucket under her and, you know, have room but it, I mean, it's its possible, but she is short. And I think Clarita got the shortness of her mom in her, which is hilarious. 